When is it appropriate to use the new RapidRH 5.0 reusable sensor? First of all, I want to make you make sure it's very clear. The RapidRH 4.0 EX, the single usage sensor that you have just absolutely embraced over the last seven years, is going nowhere. The product is the number one selling product in the marketplace and it's the best product for most of the applications that are out there. The RapidRH 5.0 reusable sensor is intended for a very, very small audience and that's what I'd like to address today. The people that the 5.0 is designed and intended for are people that really, the crux of it, they get paid for every single hole that they drill in the floor. Engineers, flooring inspectors, building inspectors, uh, moisture testing specialists, people that are really uh, dialed into making sure that they have the additional time and energy necessary to do the consistent calibrations that need to be done or calibration verifications and to make sure that they maintain all of that paperwork so if they are ever called out to produce that information they can. Most of the people that utilize the RapidRH 4.0 are going to be those people that are typically flooring installers, coating installers, decorative concrete applicators, terrazzo installers. They are people that utilize the moisture testing device, the RapidRH 4.0, to really prove that the floor that they're going to put on there will withstand the test of time. It's an insurance policy in effect for them. They don't really get paid for doing that moisture testing on its own. So I hope, if nothing else, that that really does clarify where the RapidRH 4.0 and the RapidRH 5.0 are intended to be used. The RapidRH 4.0 or the RapidRH 5.0? Which one is your smart choice?